I thought the children didn't apply to it. Is there... Here's the problem. If I cut my thing, he's going to hit me. Oh. Yep. Why won't you fly? Alrighty, guys. We are back here with another episode of Ark. And uh, we had a little mishap. As you can see here, I've lost my armor. And, well... I've come to a conclusion that we definitely need more tames before we start heading out for the other creatures. Um, we may even start moving to the island before getting the other two creatures and come back for them later. So, this episode, we might be heading over to the island. I don't know yet. Um, I might be just taming up creatures and we're going from there, but we'll see about it. So, we'll figure this out. Alrighty, so we're going to be heading to the island. So, I figured if we're going to be needing kibble and stuff for the next couple creatures, because the Amagosaurus and Dinotherium, they're definitely more endgame. Because Dinotherium, a 150, I have to kill a troop. I have to kill the entire troop, I believe, before I can damage him and give them uh, the food to passive tame. So... If, oh, yeah, I forgot this is a new Sinnoh. I don't got as much stamina. So I got to be careful. And I forgot to give it some food, so. Um, I'm going to go get my Sinnoh some food, and then we're going to start make, making our way towards an obelisk. Alrighty, so we got our Sinnoh in the air. We are at half, so I'm going to swap over here to glide mode. But we're going to head over to this obelisk here. I believe it is the closest one. I didn't see any other ones nearby. So hopefully this one is close enough. But yeah. Um, last time I went out this way, I got killed by a bunch of Rexes. There was a legit a Tex Rex that f chased me into a cave up this way. So hopefully we should be alright heading to the obelisk. Because it's just going to be us hopping in the obelisk. And uploading all our guys, our, our Sinnoh, our tools. And that's going to be it. I'm not going to worry about the clothes. I'm just going to upload the tools and the Sinnoh. And then we'll just go probably run to Red Obelisk and grab our stuff. Or even a white drop on the beach. But, yeah. I also, I am going to be changing up the kibbles. Or, well, not the kibbles, the drops. Gonna make it so way, that way some of the drops drop kibble, but I have to level up to get to them. So I feel like as usual, white drops, simple, blue, and yeah, so on and so forth. Like what you would expect it to go. Um, I'm just not too sure if I'm going to do that yet. I wasn't 100% on it. I know I got my any settings changed so that way the <clears throat> all the bosses drop other stuff. So the bosses will drop chibis, um, tech gear, uh, tech saddle, blueprints, and saddles. That's an alpha raptor. Um, let's just keep on running. Unfortunately, I've learned from last time I went out. Because, as you can tell probably by now, we got a new uh, Sinnoh. Uh, the other one got murdered. This is another 150. It has good health as well. But our other ones got murdered. Because I went out and tried to tame a Dinopithecus. And I learned the hard way. As you can see there, I even crafted a shotgun, a bow, a long neck rifle. All gone. <laughs> I mean, it's so much harder to find your stuff. Because I've turned off the beacon that allows me to. And I've honestly thought about maybe turning it back on. But I feel like it makes the game harder when I have it off. There's also a raptor chasing me up this hill as I fly. Yeah, that's not good. Um, I'm going to see if there's anything more exciting up here towards the obelisk. And I'm going to get back to you guys. There's a couple alphas out. I keep on hitting that button. And it's the wrong button. I keep on hitting shift. Oh, there's a lot of stuff out this way. We are going to land here where it looks safe. Before we continue on. 
And, uh, yeah. Hopefully Arsenault starts gaining some stamina here quickly. Um, we are pretty close now. Uh, last time I was up this close to this obelisk, there was a tech rex here that killed me. So. There's the cave. There's the... I was running right into two Carnos. There's a... Oh, there's an alpha Carno right there. That thing's the size of a rex! Hold on. Uh-oh. This isn't good. This is bad. No, this is horrible. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I get... Okay. So something happens here when you get hit called, uh, stun locking. Where... Or I think that's what it is. Where the Sinnoh gets stunned and you get cancelled out of your flight. So... As long as you got some distance in between you and that. That's how I died to the Dinopithecus. Alright? Um, I will probably have a replay right about now. So basically what happened was... Is I had to cut my grapple hook. And drop down. And what, ha and what the plan was is I was only going to drop down about a foot or two. And have my Sinnoh flap me up. But the flying up... Can't, has to like cancel out the momentum of you falling down and that was like greater than the what the Sinnoh had also I'm falling again um let's try and land up on this cliff okay and uh I fell right into the Dinopithecus and I was trying to fly again and again and again and uh he just kept hitting me in my back and I completely like just spaced off the fact Maybe I should run on foot and get away from him a bit. So I just stood there trying to fl jump up and fly with him just constantly hitting me. So it was kind of my own fault for standing still and getting hit. But yeah. Anyways, we're going to head over to the island now and just get a base going. Get us set up. Get some tames going on the island. Um, and we'll go from there on what, we're what else we're going to do. So... Alrighty, we're at the obelisk. Uh, creatures, creatures, creatures. Okay. Giga comes out of nowhere and blindsides us both. I should quit saying things like that because then it's actually going to happen. I almost forgot the chitin. So, I can put that in. Boom. Bang. The one I've been waiting for? You might be. I hope so. It's been so many cycles since I was her. Do I even still remember hope? I wasn't sure you'd ever turn up. The odds just kept getting longer. I guess I've been losing faith. While well, they've been gaining power. You have to reach me. Everything depends on your survival. Master this world. Make allies of its many creatures. Grow your strength and skill. Explore this place like I did so long ago. Put the pieces together and find me, survivor. You may be the only one who can. I almost completely forgot about the new cutscene, so I'm glad I hit record before we spawned in, because that thing started immediately. Alrighty, so, there's a jellyfish. Um, we need to find, make our way to Red Ob. I don't know why I spawned here. Um, I was actually kind of hoping there might be a drop. But, looks like we didn't get lucky. Um, there might be a drop closer. Am I gammaed up? No, I was gammaed down. Okay. Um, yeah, we're on the island now, boys. 
And girls, I forgot. There's like 4% of my wa my viewers are girls. Or female. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to make my way to Red Ob. And then we are going to start working on getting us some creatures over here. To start with. Like, just some simple tame. Some, some other creatures to help us, like, defend ourselves and get around. Might go for some raptors. Um, yeah. But we'll figure this out. So, um, I've trapped myself. There's a baryonyx in between me and the, the river there. And I'm pretty sure as soon as I start crossing that river, that baryonyx is going to attack me. So, um, I'm thinking this is the shallow part here, right? Yeah, we got rocks. We actually, never mind, we're good. There's a sky titan. It's falling. It's on the ground. So, there's raptors over there. Oh, I'm just trying to gain some stamina right now. I am actually going to start starving here soon if I don't hurry up. We are almost to Red Odd. We are very close. Um, no gator? No gator. Okay. I know that Sarkos like to sometimes hang out in there. And they like to pop out on you right when you cross. Especially ever since they got that one TLC where it allowed them to grapple onto you and like do their death roll. Man, that scares me now that they can do that stuff. Although that came out a couple years ago, I believe. The TLC update that the Sarkos were in and all that. I think that came out with the T-Rex. Okay, we are here now. Oh, that Stego scared me there for a second. I was like, it's a raptor! <laughs> it was not. Luckily, it was not a raptor. So we can export you out. We can grab all this stuff. And there we go. We got our tools. We got our gear. Or, well, yeah, we got our gear and we got our Sinnoh. No, I need to get me food because I'm starving. So, luckily though with the Sinnoh on our back, it should be easy. I'm just going to pop a bunch of berries for now. And then I'm going to go drop a dodo and get uh, get uh, some food going here. But yeah, we're just going to find a simple place to set up house for, a night, for the night. So, if I can do that we should be good also yep i was about to say we got a bunch of compies below us so i should probably not be going into our my inventory and eating food where they're gonna start biting me and we are off so i need to just find me a place where i can set up my base for now just something simple and i'm going to be doing this from now on um, we're going to be setting our Sinos to passive flee, so that way if they get attacked, they run away and don't get killed. So, that is, and I, that's like the best idea I've had since we started the series. I ain't gonna lie, I've lost too many, too much stuff to just stupid ideas and trying to rush through stuff. So, yeah, we're just going to take our time here, we're going to set up a base on the island, we're going to go get some creatures, and all that. I do want to try and get a more central base. Um, I'm thinking maybe Redwoods or somewhere over by the volcano. Somewhere in that region. Just somewhere central. Because being up towards like one of the corners of the map, it takes a while to get around. Especially on one of the bigger maps. Okay, I'm thinking that we might build our base up here somewhere. On this little thing that we're coming up on. I see a raptor down there. He's over there though. So we should be fine. Um, there's a lot of creatures down there below us, though. My only concern, though, is maybe, like, what are they? Titana boas doing their little buggy things and crawling up the cliff. You know, with their little bugs. I ain't gonna lie. Titana boas are pretty buggy. And I need water. Come on, let me drink. I don't know why my E button's not working now where I can't drink. Uh, I probably have something toggled on that shouldn't be toggled on that's not supposed to be binded anyways, so. Um, yeah. Other than that, we actually might build, like, a treehouse base. Treehouse fortress, I don't know. I don't know how we would do that. But 
I also don't know how we would build up here. I do know it's like not that f well. Yeah, we could. We just have to like isolate us apart of the place. Um, maybe up there. Wonder what it's like back in here. Oh, we got out of stamina, and we're dropping in a weird place or an uncomfortable place. Ooh, let's try and land on the rocks. Uh, we did it. Okay, we're good. I don't know how much I trust these rocks because there was a Carno over here earlier. But I'm pretty sure we'd just run right up that rock and uh, demolish us. I'm pretty sure it would. Can't wait until we get this Sinnoh with some more levels. Um, I'm definitely going to be running back here eventually to grab more Sinnohs to start breeding them together. So that way we can get a Mega Sinnoh. Or a, a well-rounded Sinnoh. Especially one with better stamina on it. But we're going to be using this one for now. This one does have good health. It's like got a thousand health off of it. Base stats. It's only got two levels put into it so far. So it's not bad. It works. You're a parasaur. What are you running from? What else is down this way? Um, that's going to be taking me back out towards the ocean. Isn't it? It is, um, we do got a river here. I wonder if we could build up here by this river, maybe. We could. We could build here. There's Brontos round, Carno, okay. It's a little bit like what we had last time. Again, another base on a waterfall. Do I want to do that twice in a row, though? Two bases on the island right next to e to a waterfall. Not right next to each other, but right next to a waterfall. I mean... Especially... There's an explorer node over there. Um... Huh. Still debating this. I also feel like Rex's mods might spawn around here. There's another waterfall up there. I feel like I want to head back this way in towards the Redwoods. Something's just drawing me towards the Redwoods to build a base. So, I feel like that's what we might do, or should do. Something like that. If I, if I knew we were going to do this, I could have planned and I could have like tried to get a platform ready. While we were still in Lost Island. Because I'm pretty sure... I had like 300 metal. Okay. I could have probably made me flak armor if I was high enough level. But I think I'm down by like 7 levels now. So. Um. Where would be just a good place to settle up for right now? Like until I need... Until I run back and am able to do all this stuff. I need like a spot where I can spawn... You know? Just need a spot where I can spawn. Hmm. I mean, it, it, like, it just has to even be a bedroll, I mean. It doesn't even have to be a full bed. Or, well, it could be a full bed, because we can place that stuff on the ground. Um, but I do need hide, so let's take out this parasaur. That wasn't a Parasaur, but that was a Dodo, and it's still Hide. Okay. Acting like you can outrun me. Uh, he's No, but he's leading me right into Raptors. You know what's nice, though? These ones aren't. And the center will keep any all the ants off my back. Oh my god, those are that's where the raptors are. 
I'm running right at them. Jeez. Why am I still chasing him? He's gonna get away. I don't know what I'm doing now. I'm just trying to get leather. I just need a bedroll. I might try... I might try and get some well, tranks while we're under. This seals it. Just when I thought I'd made some sense okay, of Okay, and now I've got that going where it's not going to cancel. Jeez. The nail in the proverbial um. Roos. A whole herd of giant roos were just hopping about the countryside like they'd always been there. As much as I love roos, they just shouldn't be here. Period. They uh -oh. evolved in I don't like the Lophosaurus because they will kill me. I trust that the pike is doing a lot of damage, but I'm feeling like I'm gonna get blindsided from behind by a raptor. Oh no! Ugh. We got this. We're getting away. <laughs> oh. I hate when we can't see. Also, does this not apply to you, my man? So now are you not getting this? I was hoping you would get the stamina, but or the XP boost, so I get a little bit more stamina in you. But I guess not. Okay. Um. What is it for a sleeping bag? I'll craft up two here. I'm gonna just place them up here for now, and. Do I? I'm thinking about doing something stupid and it's really, really risky and I'm really starting to regret even thinking about it. Because now I am going to pretty sure I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I don't know why I'm doing it, but I'm doing it. I don't know why I'm going into the Redwoods. I'm just going to get blindsided by a Thylo or something. Something just got blindsided. There it is. There they go. That Pterodon just got blindsided by a Thylo and there goes the Thylo chasing after it. I bet it hopped out of one of these trees here. Uh, this is the lake I was looking for. Um, I don't know how well we would be able to secure this lake. So, I'm definitely not doing a base where we're going to be able to breed the water creatures there. So, we're definitely going to have to build, like, a separate water aquatic base for that kind of stuff. But, I am kind of wondering if down in here we can do, a uh, just a normal base for all our creatures here in the redwoods and then like off the coast somewhere we can do like a base that we have set up with teleporter with simple teleporters for us to get to to breed our aquatic creatures you know uh, maybe even set up lost on or was it the herbivore island as a place for our aquatic creatures out here Alrighty. um I'm just trying to get to where I need to be so I can craft me up a place to camp. So like a fire and all that to make food. All I've been doing so far is just running through here grabbing berries to eat. That just gave me narco berries. I mean this should these should be enough berries right here to fill me up. But I'm just going to grab a couple extra so that way I have extra. I'm just waiting to get blindsided by terror birds and get murdered. I feel like it's coming. I heard something moving and it was in the air. That was like the first response. Is to get in the air. Okay. Um, I wonder if we should build like right in here somewhere. You know? Because it is kind of flat up in here. You know, maybe take that tree right there in front of us or the one over there. The other side. You know, just build, like, a main, like, tower area where we live in and, like... You know how we had our uh, house last time where we had the main central area where, like, it was elevated above it where we slept? And below us was the bathroom and all that? We just do that, but, like, in a tree. And I could do, like, an entire upper section around, separated. I could make a kitchen. I could make this fancy. And, again, I am still thinking about doing decoration mods, so I could do fancy houses. 
I like that. So, but for now, I don't know why. I just planned on trying to get up here to the top of this mountain. I know it's a horrible idea, but I figured it's the safest place in the Redwoods I know about is on top of this mountain. Even though there's Argentavises, Acros, Rexes, Scorpions, and all other kinds of bugs. I'm still waiting on that guy below me to start chasing after. So. Ooh. We should be, yeah, we should be good right up here at the top next to this tree. Don't see any ads. Got some Kentros, though. Let's get this fire up. Oh no, what do I need? Flint, stone, wood, and thatch. Jeez, I don't have any of that. Okay. Um, boom. Boom. And there we go. We got our fire. We got our meat. Boom. We are going. This is a start to something, I'm hoping. Um, I'm half tempted to go check out that. You know what, we'll check out this purple drop before we end the video. So, we'll see what this is. If it's safe. Safe as it's gonna get. Ooh, that wasn't bad. That's a journeyman lance. Also, I took a bunch of damage jumping down this and uh, the way I did it. I should have activated the parachute sooner. Why am I freezing? Oh, I'm on top of a mountain. That's why. I should be warm, though, up next to my fire. But yeah, that was a stupid idea. I mean, the lance isn't bad, but we took a lot of damage. And we gained a lot of torpor <laughs> in the process. Um, So... Hopefully we should be good. Are we going to be good? Yeah, we'll be good. Okay. Oh yeah, you can't lay on the sleeping bags. But anyways, I think that's going to be it for this episode. So yeah. If you guys got any creature suggestions, go hop in my Discord and leave them. There is a section there just for those. There's a link in the description to the Discord. Um, And yeah, so please do leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, this has been Gunjamare. Signing off. Yeah.